blocking out the noise. That's what our next guest wants us to do when it comes to diet culture and negative messaging about our bodies. Meet Emmy, a supermodel who's broken barriers in the fashion and beauty industry. She's an advocate of size inclusivity, and she's spoken before Congress to increase public awareness on the dangers of eating disorders. And Emmy joins us live this morning. Hi there. Thanks so much for being with us on Fix 11. So happy to be here. Good morning. Good morning on this chilly morning. Oh, yes. It's freezing here. It's freezing here. Well, you know, you've been at the forefront of the body positivity movement even before most people even knew what that was. So can you talk about, <laughs> yeah, I mean, why are you advocating for diverse women of all shapes and sizes? Why is it so important to you? Our bodies are the vehicles that take us everywhere. And if we're in conflict with them, that's not a very good journey or a happy journey mm -hmm. or a, a well journey. <laughs> so uh, when we have children and we see that there's uh, documentation, uh, research from the Facebook papers showing that even corporations, and we know this uh, in the past, but to see it upfront and personal um, with algorithms, that are hurting our children and they're still making money. So it's up to us as parents to be able to get really understanding how we feel within the skin that we're in and hopefully we can get to a better place so that whatever we have left over for our children and those in our family and friends and all that, get that goodness instead of the dis, you know disconnect from the neck down with our bodies. Yeah. It's time, it's like I think all of us can just take a big sigh of relief and go, is there an answer? Yes, <laughs> exactly. we can be happy. You, you can. know, I grew up in the 80s and 90s, and I just remember always looking at Seventeen magazine, and those were the images that I thought I had to be. I mean, there really wasn't anything or anybody talking about body positivity. You had to look like the girls in the magazines. So how has it changed, the, the body positivity movement from back then, the 80s and 90s, compared to what it is now? see a huge leap and it takes a, an entire village and I might have started a conversation back in the 90s early mm -hmm. 90s and I could not stop talking about it <laughs> um, however like-minded souls like-minded men and women um, and other agencies and other places that would hire individuals that would reflect beauty all the diverse beauty that was out there slowly and slowly up to 2022 we have a bouquet of beauty being represented and it's thinner women, medium sized women, larger women, darker skin women, lighter skin women, all different colors from backgrounds, American women being reflected. Yeah. Yes, we can always do better, but we are in a place right now that's quite effervescent with the reflections that we have, but now we have to work on, well, I'm working on my own personal journey to feel good right here, right now, without thinking, oh, I have to change my nose, I have to change my hips, I have to change this, I have yeah. to change that, I have to reduce, I have to increase, and it, next season it's going to be bigger this, smaller that. Exactly. So we, we have to draw the line somewhere. Be happy where we are. Now, we are in January, yeah. a time where a lot of people are thinking about New Year's resolutions. So many people, you know, feeling that pressure to lose weight like you were talking about. So can you talk about the negative messages that often come into play here and, and how we can kind of tune that out? This is a great question. We're always going to feel that impetus to January 1 comes, okay, what do we want different? What do we want to improve? How, you know, what do we want to take from the year before and bring it in? And how do we manage that guilt and shame? It's like, I want to be able to take that coat and just drop it mm -hmm. and say, if I hydrate myself, and I really do, a lot of issues revolve around not having enough water in our bodies. If we exercise our bodies, just like we wouldn't keep a dog in the house for two weeks, that would be inhumane. We kind of have to think about that with ourselves, like really be funny about it and go, oh, have I walked myself today? Whether it's snowshoeing in the cold too, you know, people say, oh, I'm gonna stay in. Well, what are you going to do? Are you gonna bundle up and do something physically with your body? You're gonna do something in your living room, whatever it might be to get the blood moving. Cause that's all for yeah. the mind. Be more mindful the endorphins, about well, and the endorphins that yeah. are, are being released, the happy feelings, and then eating when you're hungry, choosing as much of that fresh, you know, light sourced food. And then yes, you're gonna have some butter. Yes, you're gonna have the cookies and ice cream, <laughs> but at a much lower, smaller exactly. degree, should you completely exactly. eliminate it? 
that causes the problem. So you know, balance, it's the balance. Exactly. I'm a, I'm a mother of two young girls. You are also a mother of a, a young adult yeah. daughter. Mine are only nine and six. But how do you approach Ooh, raising goes a, so fast. I know. So how do, you, uh, how do you raise your daughter? How do you approach raising your daughter in this size-obsessed society that we're living in right now? It starts from the home mm -hmm. and it starts with ourselves. Mm -hmm. I know it's hard to say, you know, it's hard to go inward, but my goodness, if we don't get into looking into, when we are looking in the mirror and our children are around us, they're looking at us yes. as their goddesses and, oh, you're so beautiful, you're so that. And then we say out of our own mouths, Oh, I need my thighs to change, right? Exactly. I need my tummy to change. And they're thinking, wait a minute, because my mom had done that. And I oh. remember thinking what a beautiful woman she was. And I thought, well, I have the same thighs. So what we say, what we project about ourselves around those that are around us, especially also the friends that we have, what kind of friendships do we have? Do they support us? Do they talk badly about other people? You know, forgive, we're all the same. Yeah. You know, there's no one better than each other. So it does start from the self. Yeah. So how we roll in life is how probably our kids are going to roll. Well, that is good advice to give to me, right, this home with two little girls. Oh. <laughs> really, I really appreciate it. Emmy, thank you so much for joining us today. Great advice as we start a brand uh, new year. I hope you can join me on the 13th. Go on to uh, emmystyle.com and sign up for a webinar that I have. Oh, it's wonderful. free. We will do Body that. image webinar. Thanks Excellent. so much, Emmy. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too.